Hello ladies and gentlemen, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location or where you are hearing me from this Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life, about the Biafran struggle, about anything that concerns the Eastern region, the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, and also Africa at large. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do that as soon as possible. Uh, I want to uh, use this opportunity or this medium to say thank you to everyone who have been contributing contributing immensely to the growth of my channel in all ramifications i say may the almighty to care by my bless each and every one of us today as we endeavor to like share and also to comment all my content and i also want to use this opportunity to say sorry to all my listeners and my subscribers and my viewers for uh, for not being online for quite some time now uh, there's an Igbo idea that said odo Diago. Uh, something uh, something uh, transpired and uh, but i thank god that uh, the whole situation has been resolved uh -huh. our people used to say something bigger than a, t a cricket suddenly enters into the mouth of a cricket so notwithstanding i have to make sure that my people received their daily dosage of news on daily basis so please if you uh, have not subscribed i want you to do that as soon as possible tighten your seatbelt and listen attentively as we go into the biafra news of today being the thirtieth of the of this uh, month of uh, November in the year 2022, this is the last day of the month. And my prayer to all my fans, my subscribers, and the families out there, those ones who love what I'm doing, even if you are busy me, there's no cause for alarm because whatever you do in this life, you must only have haters and also have uh, have people that love you. So to all my haters, to all my lovers, everyone out there, whether you are saying good about me or you are saying good about my channel or you are saying anything bad, that. I will not all respond in a negative form. My prayers to you is that each and every one of us will experience the new month and the blessings that come with the festive period. So let's go straight into the news of the day. Touch your seatbelt and also listen attentively. Enugu, a two division GOC, is responsible for the rise of Fulani terrors in the state. I have said this thing before when they brought in the new uh, GOC and then his first meeting it was uh, to go to Anambra State and visit uh, Charles Ludo and the rest of them. And uh, I keep telling my friends, keep telling my listeners, and keep telling my viewers and subscribers that uh, this man does not mean to well. And this is a typical Fulani man. Uh, there's no anywhere that this man will come to the to the eastern part of the country and we have peace. And that is how that is why we keep having all these uh, challenges of uh, insecurity, most especially in Enugu, in Enugu where they have military base, a two division for that matter, but they attack on, on daily basis uh, from the Fulani herdsmen, Fulani killers, and those ones that the government have been dropping into our forest on daily basis in middle of the night. And uh, people, uh, uh, well, my, 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 my utmost concern is that uh, the ones, the people who are supposed to react to all this are not saying anything and are not doing anything about it. Instead, they, they went about their normal business because it doesn't concern them. It's only the poverty that suffers all these attacks. Well, let's move straight into the news of the day and let your people know how these people have been contributing. Because when all this attack will be happening, when you call but police, they will tell you not available. You call the military, they will tell you not available. But once all these people finish with their heinous attack and crimes, then you see them surface on the scene. To tell you that they know everything that is happening within that uh, zone. So let us go straight into the news of the day. Information available to the intelligence of the of the Mazin Nam the Kano led indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP states that the general officer commanding GOC, a two division of the Nigerian Army, uh, Nigerian Army, Enugu State, Mayor General Omar Musa is the cause for the upsurge in kidnappers. Okay, kidnappings and killings by Fulanis in the state. Recall that the different parts of Enugu State have continually experienced heightened kidnaps and killings in recent months, weeks, and days. One of such instances is a place called Four Corner Zones along the road leading to Udi local government. A report from a family writer's press correspondent in Enugu confirmed that this confirmed that this said area have witnessed daily kidnappings and, and uh, different other crimes perpetrated on the on daily basis by Fulani terrorists since the past one month. Also in the local government uh, area of the state, several kidnappings and robberies by these Fulani sects have been consistently witnessed on the road leading from Eke to Afa. And the war still at Izuzo. 
the indigenous uh, indigenous of uh, Agua Med community of a uh, Humfu zone in a uh, Isuzu local government area. We are heavily invaded. We are heavily invaded by this same Fulani blood sucker in almost all days and nights of the past one week. Report has it that over 20 lives have been lost in the course of this invasion. Currently, at the time of writing this report, the Agumer village and surroundings is deserted. Every member of that, I mean, I mean, every occupants of those areas have been left their farmland, their homeland, and also their houses for the fear of being attacked by by the killer Fulani uh, herdsmen and the rest of them. Yet, we will still boast that we have a, a two division in Enugu, yeah? and they are having all this kind of attack. And you tell me their hand is not in need, and they don't know anything. Uh, I mean, I mean, they don't have solution to to common Fulani attack. Does it mean that Fulani, who are rearing cattle now, is more well experienced than all our military who have been on the battlefield for for years now? The answer is no. The 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 the, 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 the truth there is simply because. They are the power that be, and they are the one that is behind all those attacks. It is worthy to note here at, that uh, at no instance of these attacks by Fulani government has the military or police intervened. Of course, in fact, one of the four corners happens near nearby a military checkpoint. But we confirm that on the 24th of November 2020, 2022, the women from the Isuzu area who attempted protesting against these terrors. In the land, we are dispersed by police and soldiers who came and shot live bullets and tear gases. Have you seen it? Sporadically, at the innocent protesters, mostly aged mothers. And these are the same police that never answered the people's call for intervention while full and were on rampage, killing innocent Enugu indigenous. Well, uh, 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 what I would say in this very particular Enugu case is because they are the cause of what is happening to them. Their governor, their monarchs, I mean, their Igwes and the traditional rulers are the one who joined the hand and chased out ESN, who is protecting those places. Now they are at the mercy of attackers because those places, without the, the, the presence of uh, ESN, it is very, very difficult for them to, 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 to even uh, endure anything that is happening in those areas. They, 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 they ganged up against ESN with all manner of allegations and so on, and since then, they have no peace in that very land. So, my great people of Biafra, have you seen it? That uh, the eye that is crying we also can also see. All this outline on becoming circumstances and more got this uh, highly escalated since GOC Omar Musa was transferred to Enugu, a two division military barrack. So, IPOB intelligence were compelled to embark on thorough investigations. According to the findings of the intelligence unit, this Fulani Army General Omar Musa has. Uh, caused a lot of problems in the north, in the northern Nigeria, by killing a lot of indigenous people. States in western region of Nigeria and many other state governments have many other states governments have uh, all rejected Major General Musa from being posted to their states because of his shady background and strong sympathy for Boko Haram and Ishwab. The Afrans must stand up because this man is is a looming danger to the Enugu metropolis. IPOB intelligence is also gathered that this General Musa was transferred from Kaduna where kidnapping, killings and robbers are also treated under his watch. Of course, that is exactly the point. Since this man have left Kaduna, Kaduna have been a kind of, a, I mean, there have been a represas in, the, in, the, in terms of uh, dealing with the bandits, uh, the, the terrorists, the kidnappings, and also the, Fulani, uh, the killer Fulani herdsmen who have been terrorizing the whole of Kaduna state. Since they transferred this man, there has been a success, I mean a huge success, when soldiers try to attack because this very man is the one that always give out information to the bandits for them to take cover or for them to know when to attack and when not to attack the soldiers. So since he transferred from Kaduna to Enugu State, that place has been at least in three, four, five different locations, success has been recorded in the fight to, 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 to finish or to defeat the insurgents the 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 the, the Fulani killer herdsmen and also the Ishwab in Kaduna Metropolis. So you can see it that those ones who transfer this man to Enugu State have a mission for him to accomplish, and that is what he is doing. Under his watch, there have been a constant uh, attack in uh, Enugu Metropolis, where they have a two division. I mean, a two battalion division 
of Nigerian army, be of a zoological army, which they have not been doing anything concerning those that, uh, that, 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 that this uh, very, 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 very thing. Some rescue kidnapper victims in the Four Corner area have narrated what their Fulani kidnappers told them. These kidnappers boasted to the victim that they, victims, can go to, to tell the world after they have paid ransom, emphasizing that they, they, they kidnappers, do not care for anything. Kidnappers boasted that they are both in charge of the army in the region, and because of this, they are army general bulls in the military. They are fearless. The intelligence also unveiled. Our intelligence further told us that the rescued victims also narrated how these Fulani terrorists said wherever our boss is transferred to, he usually moves with his Fulani bandits, kidnappers, and herdsmen groups. That is the problem. And that is those people that have been dropping with a helicopter every middle of the night in our territory. And the most prominent men, the governors, are the ones who are supposed to react to this very uh, uh, um, outcome have not been doing anything, have not been saying anything simply because all of them have committed in one way or the other. And I keep saying this, and people are doubting me that these are our governors, the ministers, House of Rest, and the rest of them, that they all have been committed. These Fulani Kabas have made them to commit, I mean, some crimes that have been recorded. That whenever they rose against any government or against anyone who is killing their people, then they will open their the record, they open their book of sins. And, and go after them. And that is why all of them have kept silent. It does not mean that they enjoy what is happening in the, in the, in the, in the Eastern region or in any state there, but simply because they have no choice other than keep their mouth shut because they have been committed in one way or the other. They have made them to, to, to loot public funds. In other words, they have used that to hold them hostage. Each time they raise alarm on what is happening in the, in the, in the Biafra region or any part of the Biafra region, once they make mention of anything about that, they will probe them and the EFCC will come after them. And that is the problem. Igbo people are the most selfish and the most senseless people I've ever witnessed. They are very, very easy to say they're better simply because of money. Igbo man love money more than anything. And that is why we keep committing blunders every now and then. May the almighty school of Gabi never allow us to be like this to eternity. Our mumu don't do our our intelligence further told us that the rescue victim also narrated okay uh, okay also narrated how this flan terrorist said wherever our boat is transferred to he usually moved with his flan bandits kidnappers and his groups there are also numerous reports that many people have complained to the southeast governors but they have all kept moot about this flan nigerian army general sent to biafra land for destabilization that is what is, is the problem we are having in the eastern region the saboteurs we have there is many the ones who who can speak the truth is less but the ones who cannot speak the, speak the truth is many that is why the problem can never be eradicated in biafra land but we keep trying our best through the help of uh, the esn and other security operatives in the land working to sanitize our region from the full and terrorist groups and the issue and the rest of them who have vowed to make uh, 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 a Biafra land and ungovernable place for, for, for us. It won't happen, uh, not now and not ever. We Biafrans have what it takes to protect our land and to keep it safe from all these invaders uh, anytime, any day. 2023, vote for all PDP candidates except presidential aspirants. Wiki Ojis Rivers people. Wahala, no, they finish. According to uh, yes, on Wiki. The River State Governor, yes, on weekend, has all the residents of the state to vote the People's Democratic Party candidate for most positions except the party's presidential candidate in the forthcoming general elections. Wiki also requested them to wait until he reveals where they will be casting their vote for the presidential election. He disclosed this on Tuesday during the commission of the Rupoku Rumogu Uzo Obodo Oburata in the Obiapo local government area of the state. Recall that Wiki and the other four governors of the PDP had fallen out with the party's presidential candidate Atiku Abubaka over the retention of Iyocha Ayo as the national chairman. You will vote for the party that has worked for you. You know this. You know those. You will vote for. Vote for the gubernatorial candidates. Vote for our House of uh, Representatives. Vote our senatorial candidates. Vote for our House of Assembly candidates. 
those are the those we have mentioned now make sure you vote for them for the other one presidential election we will meet at our houses very soon and decide where we are going to cast our vote according to yes on wiki and uh, I, uh, I am not uh, 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 in any way um, against the wiki in all these his hang wranglings or in all this uh, throwing of tantrums or to Amerity to whoever that comes his way I think uh, he's just fighting a just cause but the truth is there uh, the truth uh, still remains that wiki uh, uh, you have uh, taken this uh, fight so far I think it is high time you let it go and let uh, the, uh, let it not take uh, the best part of you. You have done well for the rivers people, despite the fact that uh, you keep siphoning their funds and uh, all the federal allocations, including the revenues being gotten to the state. You have been using it to do in a saraka or to to answer the the, the strong man. Uh, well, uh, we we are still waiting to 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 see who will come next, whether they will probe you or not. Because I'm very very sure that if PDP doesn't win river state wiki you will be entirely in trouble so my great people we are still moving into another news of the morning please tighten your seatbelt and also keep listening attentively Buhari Reza Salam says weapon weapons from Russia Ukraine war are now shipped to Africa well there's no doubt about it because even you yourself your boys are the one that is doing it and they will open the border for all these things to come into Nigeria President Muhammad Buhari has raised an alarm over weapons proliferation in Africa, African countries. According to him, some weapons used in the lingering war between Russia and Ukraine are being shipped to into the Lake Chad Basin region. Lake Chad Basin region is an economically and socially integrated area in West and Central Africa, striding Cameroon, Chad, Niger, and Nigeria. Okutelu reports that Nigerian leader raised the alarm while delivering a speech at the 16th summit of the heads of state and government of the Lake Child Basin uh, Commission, held at the conference hall of the presidential villa Abuja on Tuesday. Violent uh, situations in Sahel region compared Boko Haram terrorism in Lake Child Basin. Chairing the summit, Buhari said the situation which had heightened the proliferation of small arms and light weapons called for a reawakening of the border security of the countries of the region. He stressed that the unending war between Russia and Ukraine and other violent situations in the Sahel region of the West African compounded Boko Haram terrorism in the Lake Chad Basin region and other parts of the area. He said, though a lot have been done to decimate the strength of the Boko Haram terror group and other violent extremist groups in the region. Terrorist threats still persist. Buhari said, I am glad to inform my dear brothers that in keeping with that decision, the MNJTF has since then successfully conducted three major operations, OPS, Yanshin, Tafiki, 1 and 2, and OPS, Lake, uh, Lake Sanity, I, which is the fourth one, OPS, Lake Sanity 2, being planned. The next phase of the operation will take a cognizance of lessons learned from previous exercise and effectively consolidating the gains attained by proceeding the ops. I am glad to know that during the execution of ops, Lexanity I, regrouping terrorists in the Lake Chad Island were effectively decimated. It must, however, uh, be stated that despite the success recorded by the gallant troops, of the MNJTF and the virus ongoing national uh, reach up, uh, operations in the region. Terrorist threats still lock in the region because you people have not uh, decided on what to do or how to defeat all these uh, morons that have been kept Africa at a very sad line or at a very regrettable manner because uh, the, 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 the Western world, I mean the Western world, they know exactly what is happening and they have been the ones supporting all these uh, all these uh, terrorists and all these miscreants in the West African Sahel. Regrettably, the situation in the Sahel and the region war in Ukraine uh, serve as significant, significant source of weapons and factors that bluster the ranks of the terrorists in the Lake Child region. A substantial re a proportion of the arms and ammunition procured to execute the war in Libya continues to find its way to the Lake Child region and other parts of the Sahel, Sahel 
weapons being used for the war in Ukraine and Russia are equally beginning to filter into that same region. So how are we going to control this? It is left for our presidents of all the African nations to do the need for if we are not among the trolleys that we are fighting against. This illegal movement of arms into the region has heightened the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, which continue to threaten our collective peace and security. There is, therefore, the urgent need for expedite collaborative actions by our border control agencies and other security services to stop the circulation of all illegal weapons in the region. Buhari stressed. President Buhari added that governments of the region needed a complaint complement the ongoing efforts with provisions of sustainable development projects, which he said would make life more conducive for the people and restore their confidence in the state. According to Buhari, he said the government presence must be positively felt in the area to restore the confidence of citizens in the ability of the state to protect them and provide basic infrastructure for all, according to him, for all, emphasis on for all. It is in the view of foregoing that the implementation of the regional strategy for the stabilization, recovery, and resilience of the Boko Haram, uh, Boko Haram affected areas of the region must gain further traction without any delay. Okute News understand and I quote that the summit had present and heads of state of the six member states in attendance with the exception of President Paul Bia of Cameroon, who was represented by one of his ministers. Those in physical attendance were Prof. Faustin Achanga, Todora, President of the Central African Republic, Mohamed Bazoum, President and Head of State of Niger Republic, Patrice Talon, President of the Republic of Benin, Mahat Idris Dabi Itno, President of the Transition Military Council of Chad, President and the Republic, uh, President of the Republic, Head of State, Mohamed Al Mafi, Chairman, President Council of Libya. According to President Mamad Buhari, in all that he's saying, so my great people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, those who who love what I'm doing, those ones who have been patient out there enough to wait for me so that I come back online, I'm going to sign up from this very broadcast at this very minute because I still have a lot to give to my people, a lot of news in my desktop here for you all. So until I come your way again, please, if you have, if you have not subscribed to this channel, and other uh, Okute Daily Talk channels, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Because without you that know me and without me, there will be no such news for you. Please continue subscribing, continue sharing, and make sure that this uh, uh, this broadcast get to every hoof and cranes in the country and also Biafra land at large. So please keep on doing what you are doing to, so, to, 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 to help this uh, 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 very channel. Bye for now.